What is up, everybody? We've got some Sadisi Wicked Witch of the West Coast. We're going to hit the east side of that LBC on that mission, trying to find Mr. Warren G today, guys. So, regulators mount up. <laughs> oh, we're playing against uh, some, some Toshi Ryo. Okay. We've got some Sadisi action on our side. As far as opening hand goes, we've got Drowned Catacomb, Marsh Flats. Um, we've got Doubling Season, Seder Wave. Yeah, I like this. This is a really good hand. We're going to keep. So we're playing CDC. Uh, whenever CDC enters the battlefield or attacks, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then, when one or more creature cards are put into your graveyard, you may put a 2 2 black zombie token onto the battlefield. We're playing against Toshio. Uh, Bushido won. And whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you may cast target instant or sorcery from your graveyard. Okay. Sounds like a fun little match right here. I think this might be the first time I've played against him. Uh, and he's more of a tiny leader's person, so I've never played him in the full commander. But, uh, yeah, let's go for it, man. I always enjoy playing against the uh, Kamigawi, or I think that's from the set it's from. Or the that whole block, you know. Okay, so let, let's go. I'm going to get down Marsh Flats. Lord of the Undead. Yeah, let's get down Marsh Flats and then pass the turn. So as far as what we want to do... Hold on, let's see. Actually, break it down in just a second. So we've got Seder Wayfinder, and we also have um, Grizzly Salvage. So we'll be able to get into some more mana next turn. I can distinct medium. Okay, so let's get down. Let's crack the Marsh Flats so we, this Drowned Catacombs doesn't come into play tapped. I meant to crack it on our opponent's turn. Um, Islander Swamp, so let's go and grab Bayou. Get down Drowned Catacombs, and then pass. Well, we can get down Seder. Yeah, I don't mind getting a creature down right now. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for Seder. In 40 turns, we'll have uh, we'll put a 40 turn clock on them too. So uh, let's let's get, actually grab the well. We'll get into Command Tower. That'll go under our hand, and then we'll stop Grizzly Sovereign. There we go. Also, on a side note, guys, if you'd like to sign up to fly on uh, to ride on one of Sidisi's flying zombies, head over to mtgotraders.com. That's where we, uh, that's where everybody signs up to do it. Now, I, I will I will give you a little bit of a warning. The uh, the flying zombies, it's probably not one of the safer things that we do over there. There's probably about a um, maybe about a 40% success rate success rate if you're uh, flying on the zombies. So just a little word of wisdom. But uh, you know, if you want to have the time of your life and fly on a flying zombie, go for it, man. Head over there. So he gets his commander down and talk. Oh man, okay. We'll get in just a sec, but that's some pretty cool card out right there. Opulent Palace. Okay, so let's go. Let's go and get down Opulent Palace, and then we can also. We already made the land drop. We can just grizzly salvage on our opponent's turn. That way, uh, by getting Opulent Palace down, we'll be able to uh, get down CDC next turn. Okay, but yeah. Um, I'm digging the, uh, the the art right there, man. That's I love the like the just the mainly the orange right there. Oof, very pretty. Okay, so he's coming in hot for two right now. That's going to be two commander damage. I think Vashudo's whenever um, blocks or becomes block, yeah, it gets plus one. So we're looking at two commander damage right now. Definitely want to keep up with that. And let's go ahead and fire this uh, grizzly salvage off. It's so looking at green, then black. And let's get into some temple action, because I like, well, we don't have, what do we need? I like Jim Palm. I do. I like having the cycle effect. Because coming out of the graveyard, we have to get into a lot of zombies. We do have a lot of, we have some dredge options, options with Golgari Grave Troll. We have a Sky Shroud claim to get into more land. Because I was really tempted to keep Temple, but since we have a Sky Shroud, I'm going to take Gym Palm because I really like that cycle effect. It makes a difference. And I think we'll, we'll probably go and get down to DC this turn. <clears throat> Excuse me, this turn too. Do we know Dredge go Gary right now? Hmm. Yeah, let's go and Dredge and get, get that graveyard up and running. Parallel Lives, Armored Scab, okay. So let's get down Command Tower, and let's get down CDC. Let's go green, blue, black, and then don't matter. CDC coming in hot, so we're going to have our Enter the Battlefield trigger. Get into some zombie action. Hopefully, keep our fingers crossed.
tendrils of corruption. Okay. It, uh, yeah, we we would have missed on the city sea trick or two. Okay, so let's go ahead and swing in for one right now. <laughs> Seder wave wayfinder putting in some work. Okay, so let's re-rack. So we've got sky scout claim. We'll go and do that next turn to get into get ahead on two forest. We can play those and we get on doubling season. So we can kind of just re-rack and hopefully build up a really big zombie board with doubling season. And we do have a zombie lord coming out of the hand, so it's not that bad. But we do go to four commander damage. Cavernous Souls. Okay, so get down Sky Shroud Claim. Let's go green. Get into two forest. Let's get into... We're okay on black. Let's get into an actual forest. And we'll go and get into a breeding pool. And do we want to shock that in? Yeah, we're going to shock it in. Okay, now we can get down Cavern of Souls naming zombie. We'll get down Diagraph Colossus. That's our zombie cards. We've got, uh, that's an elemental. We've got Grave Spawn, so that's one. Oh, we do have Dread, Dread Return in the graveyard. Just now saw that. So we've got one zombie, two. We only got two zombies. So Diagraph will come in as a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I like that. I don't mind a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, we're going to do that. Go name zombie. Get down Diagraph. Let's go for black. Cannot be countered. <laughs> okay, so 4-4, four, four, and then whenever we start casting some zombies, uh, we can get down Lord of the Undead. So as far as next turn goes, we're looking at... Let's see how much... Well, let's pass the turn, and then we'll re-rack on what we got going on. Oh, and let's get Sidisi up. We do not want to forget about the Wicked Witch of the West Coast. She's going to find those regulators. If you're unfamiliar with my, my intro to this, this deck, it's um, Warren G. Regulators. It's a 90s rap song. So if you, ha if you haven't heard it, go check it out, man. Really, really good 90s rap song. Uh, 90s rap is one of my favorite uh, music genres. So, um, and it originally started as, uh, you know, I wanted her to be Wicked Witch, because, you know, all the flying zombies with Wonder in the Graveyard. And somebody said uh, Wicked Witch of the West Coast. So I was like, all right, hit the east side of that LBC. <laughs> all right, now, so, okay, it does not swing in. I like that. And as far as next turn goes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. So we can doubling season. Well, if we get into a land, we can doubling season and get down Lord of the Undead. And Liliana, ooh, there we go. That's a new addition to the deck. Really happy to have her. So let's go. I want to get down doubling season because I want to get down CDC and start cashing in on those zombie tokens, especially since we have uh, Dread Return in there. So let's go. Let's go doubling season. We're gonna go green, black, two, three, and then one more. So we're kind of just setting up right now because I know our opponent has more of a control type build, or I would assume he would with this commander. I don't know that, but I would assume he would. And um, yeah. We're going past the turn. So what we may do is we may get down Liliana next turn. If we get into one more land, you know, we're looking at getting City C's going to cost six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. We can cast Liliana and Lord of the Undead, get the zombie trigger off Diagraph, Colossus, and get a 2-2 black zombie onto the battlefield. I like that. Yeah, I think I, I like getting on Liliana because it starts putting some pressure on there. If we get to a Liliana ultimate... Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, I picked up... Uh, um, I'm glad to have it in here. Uh, I picked up Liliana. If you're familiar, I have a Giss and Giralf deck too, so I, I got Liliana added in there. But I mainly picked it up because um, I've been working on my Soltai, uh, modern Soltai deck, so really fun. Really fun. Liliana is a lot of fun to play with. Um, I added her in there, and she's actually surprisingly that good in like a Soltai mid range type deck. So... Okay, so he is passing the turn right now. Get out Mirror Pool. What does that do again? Copy target and insert sorcery spell you control. Put a token on the battlefield. It's a copy of target creature you control. Okay. So he could. Uh, he could get into some uh, some crazy uh, <laughs> Crypt Gas action with that Mirror Pool. That'd be pretty fun. 
Mesmeric Orb. Ooh, ooh, Mesmeric Orb with CDC and a doubling season. Uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, so now if we cast this Lord of the Undead, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven mana, so we can either get down CDC and hope that we hit a zombie trigger, or we can cast Lord of the Undead and for sure get two zombie triggers and get down Liliana. Um, I think I like that. Let's get down Liliana. Let's go black. Uh, green and then black. Get down Liliana. And let's go and get down Lord of the Undead. We're going to go black. Let's go and use this Cavern of Souls for black. And then one more. So we're going to get two zombies from the doubling season right here. Normally it'd just be one, but we're going to get two since that's on the battlefield. Alright, so we got two zombies. Oh, guys. Like, 100%. Completely forgot the doubling season. Not even going to lie, I forgot doubling season uh, <laughs> counts towards Planeswalker. So this is uh, this is even better. Uh, let's go ahead and fire up the... Uh, let's fire up the Blood Ghast. I mean the Crypt Ghast. <laughs> And so we have a Liliana, Liliana ultimate coming in. Yeah, man, I, I completely forgot the interaction between doubling season and uh, Liliana. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Okay, so we can swing him in Dire Graph if we want to. Just in case he gets into this weird thing where he just has a bunch of removal to swing in Liliana. I'm just going to hold back the blockers for right now. You know, getting in for 5 to drop him down to 38... I'd much rather, you know, if he's got some spot removal, I'd much, I'd much rather have him enough spot removal to get rid of our creatures to swing in, because we can get into some uh, awesome Liliana action right there. That sounds pretty good. But yeah, that's uh, it's one of those times in meta. Yeah, like, I, I knew doubling season does that, because I've played against doubling season Planeswalkers and Modern before, but it's one of those, like, um... Alright, so he goes for Seder Wayfinder. But uh, it's one of those things where, like, uh, yeah, I know it does that interaction, but you just kind of forget, like, oh, oh yeah, that is true. So right now, our game plan is to get into some uh, Liliana action. Definitely going to enjoy that. All right, so he's got Victim of Night on Seder. <laughs> I love it when, uh, you know, Victim of Night is a really good card for a commander. But uh, <laughs> it's funny, like, when you actually play against a zombie deck. Okay, so he's going to be able to deal... He's going to be able to cast Tendrils of Corruption out of the graveyard. Destroying Diagraph, I would assume, to stop the double tokens, zombies. Ooh, you got a Tragic Slip coming in. Okay, man. Alright, so he take care of the Diagraph. We've got Lord of the Undead still left, and he still has... I think he can still cast the uh, Tendrils. Oh, plus the Tragic Slip coming out of the graveyard. Alright, so as far as next turn goes, he's, he's pretty much wiped our board right now. Um... He does have Tendrils and Victim of Night in the Graveyard, but we can cast Sidisi with Doubling Season. And uh, hopefully get ahead a little bit on Zombies with those Zombie Tokens un untapping. And another thing that we need to start watching out for is the uh, Dread Return coming out of our Graveyard. So once we get like into some Crater Hoof type action and get enough... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to make our... There we go. Get out of here, alert. There we go. Uh, I want to get a better look at our Graveyard. Alright, so we can swing in for two right now. Oh, and they activate Mirror Pool, and he's getting into some colorless action, so. So, swinging in for two right now. So, we can still activate Liliana, and then we'll have two blockers next turn. Yeah, we're going to get into some uh, Sidisi action. Look at those. Oh, this is some awesome little zombies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Grave Titan. Ooh, Grave Titan. What's up, buddy? 
Um, I think we might want to cast you to get into some, some fun shenanigans. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's go ahead and get down Grave Titan. Let's go black, black, and we'll go colorless. Let's go green. Need to do two more. So that's going to be four zombies right there. Ooh, oh man, doubling season, such a fun card. Okay, so let's go and activate Liliana. And we're going to choose the uh, his commander this time. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if I want to swing in right now with our two zombie tokens. Whenever a creature dies, you may cast. He's got Victim of the Night, he's got Tendrils. Um, he's got two cards in hand. It may be a little conservative not to swing in right now. Well, he's not going to block. But I like having as many blockers as we can because I want to get the Liliana ultimate. So, well, no, we'll go and swing in for two. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We have four, we'll have five blockers next turn, so. I mean, to make sure we, we do cast, uh, get into some Sidisi action too, finally. <laughs> This is one of those games where you just uh, kind of draw hot and just kind of go with the flow on this one. And so he has two cards in hand, and he's kind of pausing right now. It makes me wonder if he's got some type of kill spell. He wants to start chaining stuff together. But yeah, I think earlier I should have minused his commander, because that way it forces him to start swinging in with the uh, crypt. Cryptgast, and then if he doesn't have enough kill spells, then we can block with our zombies. So I, I should have done that earlier. Now that I, now that I think about it, okay. So he's tapping for how much mana? Faded return. <laughs> Faded return. Put target creature from a graveyard on a battlefield under your control. It gains indestructible if it's your turn. Scry two. <laughs> so it gets into grave spawn action. Uh, tap five, untap zombies you control. Put a creature card from a graveyard on the battlefield. So he doesn't have any zombies going right now, uh, and I doubt he's got some zombie action. But he does get into some nice fate. I didn't realize that was uh, instant speed. No, that's uh, <laughs> that's a. Uh, <laughs> this is what commander's about right here. Swinging in with two zombies, and he's gonna fate it for turn instant speed our, our grave spawn <laughs> out of our graveyard to jump block. I like it. And he's gonna be able to uh, whenever a creature dies. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I did not see the faded return play coming in hot. Alright, so he's gonna be able to <laughs> he's gonna be able to cast tendrils. Yeah man, this this is commander right here, man. <laughs> Fate instant speed fader I mean it's always an instant card, but it's just uh I know, there's just sometimes a commander where your opponent does something and you're like, Oh Yep, that I forgot, that's a card. Yep, you got it, man. <laughs> Alright, so we got tendrils on Grave Titan, which is uh, I understand that. So it's going to, uh, let's see, he's going to gain some life, and he has Victim of Night coming out of the graveyard, and we have four zombies, and he has one swamp that he can tap, but uh, he's not going to be able to cast it. Okay, and there's nothing else we want to do, yeah, we're we could get into some Dread Return, sacking three creatures and getting out. Well, we can sack three creatures and get into some more. We'll go one, two, three. We'll go down two, but then we'll get it. Yeah, we'll go in Dread Return right now. I like that. So let's go. Let's bring Grave Titan back. Let's sack the Tap Zombie, this zombie, and this one. So we'll still have two blockers. And we'll get uh, Grave Titan back out. So we'll have a 6-6 six, six blocker, and then we'll have uh, four more zombies to block. And we also have Jim Palms, so we can get into some sight. You know, his life total is pretty high, but right now we're kind of going for a Liliana ultimate. That's kind of what the game's fighting over right now. And he only has one mana, and in the only other card he can cast is Victim of Night. And uh, we're getting out a bunch of zombies. Well, he can cast Victim of Night on um, Grave Titan once we get it out because it's a giant. But, uh. Oh, Imps. <laughs> Of course, of course, the one card he's holding into his hand is Imp's Mischief. 
<laughs> okay, man, I've played with that in Modern. That's a really fun card to play with. Well, let's see what he chooses to. So we've got. He could probably choose it to Seder. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be the. So we go from. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, I'm liking this guy's build. I want to get into a Lilian Ultimate really bad, man. <laughs> Can't believe we got Imp's Mischief, and now we're getting some Armored Scab out. Alright, so we get a 1 4. I'll take it. Chump blocks at least. <laughs> I love this guy's build, man. Okay, and then, yeah, we'll pass the turn. Yeah, we kind of had to go for that one. Uh, I'm not really playing around Imp's Mischief co coming in hot like it just did, but we'll take it. It's been a fun little match so far. Okay. So now we're going to definitely... Ooh, Dark Blast. I like that. Okay. So let's get into some CDC action. It's going to cost six. And let's go... CDC's not a zombie, so we're going to go... He has zero cards in hand. So we're going to go colorless, let's go green, let's go blue, let's go black. Then one and two, leave the opulent palace up. Okay, so let's see what we get into. So we're going to have the CDC trigger. Ooh, yeah, we hit Shepard right. Good, good, good. So we're going to get two zombies. So let's go ahead and minus, actually let's go ahead and minus on the Crypt Ghast, he's no, yeah, let's do that, and then we can still Dark Blast it to kill it for good. And then we'll go and Dark Blast, take care of the Crypt Ghast, and then yeah, his commander only triggers for creatures that we control. So that's going to cut his mana in half right now, I mean he still has 8 mana he can cast stuff off of, but uh, but at least it'll cut the uh, doubling effect. Now, do we want to swing in right now? Um, I forgot that Faded Return makes it... It gains indestructible. So got an indestructible Grave Spawn. Um, so if we swing in, we're looking at getting three in. He can chump block on the zombie token, dropping down to 47. Um, you know, I'd much rather leave um, our zombies up for the Liliana ultimate. And that way, if he gets into any type of shenanigans out of the graveyard. At least we have enough blockers to protect Liliana, so... Uh, he's got a pretty cool little build over here, so I'm just going to leave up blockers right now. I don't, don't want to take our Liliana, Liliana ultimate away for the uh, the sake of him to, uh, <laughs> I don't know, get into more Imp's Mischief, any type of crazy shenanigans. Okay, so he passes the turn. He played his lane for the turn. So let's get this Liliana action going. And we'll go ahead and Dark Blast. We'll dredge Dark Blast. Whiff on that one. Let's go on Liliana. And the beginning of your instep. There we go. Let's get into some zombie action. And... Now we can... Well, it has Indestructible, so we can't do that. Um, let's actually go for Mesmeric Orb. And we have no zombies to cast off our hands, so we're going to use this... Cavern of Souls. So we get down Mesmeric Orb. Uh, so Mesmeric Orb with Doubling Season and Gem Palm is going to make for an absolutely... And the Liliana Ultimate is going to make for a pretty bananas game. So pretty happy with this. Um, we want to leave out up mana for Dark Blast. So we actually we don't want to cast um, Gold Gary Grave Troll, but we can get into some Stinkweed ap action. Or we can flashback... We can flashback Trader's Instincts. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's go that, and that is uh, Trader's Instincts, the Sorceries. Yeah, I, I like doing that, so let's go ahead and go uh, blue. Get into a couple more CDC triggers. Just looking to get a... Uh, and it's not a May ability, so put a creature card. Oh, dang it. Well, flashback not too bad. <sighs> okay, so we've got two mana. We have Dark Blast coming in hot. When it blocks, we can give it minus one. So we have the Liliana... Liliana ultimate, we'll go and swing in. Well, let's get ahead on zombies. Yeah, let's just get ahead on zombies right now. Let's get a really nice Liliana trigger, and then um, we can start swinging in and gym palming next turn. Oh, oh, beautiful. Let's get those zombies coming in. Uh oh. Inst <laughs> I 
guess he's just tapping. I don't know, sure what he's doing. Oh, he he wants to get some. Oh, okay, he's getting some mesmeric orb action going. Okay. Okay, so we need to keep track of how many zombies we have. So we're gonna yield right here. Because if we get into doubling season, we may get enough zombies to where we can just close this thing out. Or if we get into a wonder off our Mismic Orb. And let's... What's the best way to do this? I'm going to pop his graveyard out. There we go. There we go. Okay. So as far as what he hit, he's got... Um, he, he, if he gets into a kill spell type thing... All right, he scoops it up, man. <laughs> that was a really cool match. I enjoyed it a lot. So let's do some zombie math. So we've got 10, 14, 18, 19. We would have gotten more. We actually almost could have gotten to the point to where we would have, um, I know we just went back to the main screen, but we could have uh, Jim Palm for almost 40 next at the end of our turn next turn after swinging in. So, yeah, that was a fun little match. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.